In this video, I'll show you how to make this. Watch till the end and don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. First, add background. Swipe up to Z axis. Scale up. Go to this website. Select this paragraph and copy. And for the website logo, we will write the website name again and download its logo. Open the InShot app. I'm using InShot, but you can use any other app as well. Select blank and change the background color to black. Add copy text and adjust it like this. Add the logo and then adjust it. And then export it. Add it in a light motion. Go to Blending and Opacity and select Screen. Select Background and add Effect Gaussian Blur. Add another effect on background brightness and contrast. Low the brightness. Select this layer and add effect edge glow. Add a null layer. Before connecting to null layer, we will add rectangle shape. Adjust it according to text. Go to Blending and Opacity and choose Lighten. Add Wipe Effect, Transition in on Rectangle Shape. Duplicate it and adjust it here.
Except background connect all layers with null one. Increase the size of null with C axis. Add keyframe. On second keyframe, swipe up to Z axis. For smoothness, add graph. Add character PNG. Swipe down on Z axis. Swipe down the zeta axis and move it completely out of the frame like this. Let a small portion of it remain inside the frame. Add null two. Connect this character layer with Null 2. Select Null 1 and connect it with Null 2. Select this layer. Go to Blending and Opacity and Decrease. So add keyframe, and on the second keyframe, increase it. Select Null 2, add keyframe on the start. On the second keyframe swipe, up on Z-axis. Adjust it here. In the third keyframe, I will move it a little bit upward like this. Select these three layers and make it group. We have to adjust it.
Okay, it's perfect. Here we will add a keyframe for its blending and opacity, and on the next keyframe, we will set its opacity to zero. Here we add text. Add another text. And adjust it here. Add effect text transform. We will go to its offset and move it a little to the left. Go to interpolation and easing and adjust it like this. We will fully increase the overlap. And then we will go to the alpha and fully decrease it. Go to start and add keyframe. On the second keyframe, increase it. Copy this effect and paste it on second text. I will shift the keyframe a little bit. Add rectangle shape color, red. We will adjust it according to the text size. Before that, I'll move it below the text. It's perfect. Add effect directional blur. Increase the strength. Add another effect on rectangle called wipe. We will go to the vector drawing and draw an arrow. Add another point and make it curve. Remove color and add white stroke.
Add triangle shape. Adjust it here. Select these two shapes and make it group. Add wipe effect, standard settings. Increase the feather. And then increase start. Set angle to 90 degrees. Add again wipe effect transition in right. Select character PNG. Go to Add Borders. First, we will set the border to zero, then add a keyframe, and on the next keyframe, we will slightly increase the border. Select all layers and trim. Here at Null 1, I will add another keyframe and swipe the Z to axis up to create a slight slow motion effect. That's the final result. 